Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Jarrell Miller has failed a drug test ahead of his fight with Anthony Joshua on June 1st in New York. So this has been confirmed by Eddie Hearn, Joshua's promoter. So see here on screen, we have been informed by VADA that there has been an adverse finding in Jarrell Miller's sample collected on March 20th, 2019. We are working with all relevant parties and will update with more details soon. AJ's preparation continues for June 1st at MSG. So Joshua and Miller due to be fighting June 1st at Madison Square Garden. And Hearn's tweet, it follows actually the breaking news from Dan Raphael of ESPN, who broke the news that heavyweight contender Jarrell Big Baby Miller has tested positive for the banned substance GW1516 ahead of a scheduled challenge etc and in his story so he said the fight is due to take place yada 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 uh, the results which came to light on tuesday were from a random voluntary anti-doping association conducted urine test miller submitted on march 20 and then it adds ironically miller accused joshua of using peds during their recent press tour to announce the fight so confirmed by Eddie Hearn. So it's not just a media report now. And I was halfway through making a video when um, I saw that Eddie Hearn had actually confirmed this adverse result, as they say. And uh, Jarrell Miller has, um, from what Eddie Hearn is saying, failed a drugs test. This throws the fight between Miller and Joshua into disarray now because obviously if the uh, b sample which i'm sure will be tested uh, is found to be also positive then jerrell miller will not be fighting anthony joshua and likely he will be facing a ban for doping so massive news coming out of the heavyweight division and yeah my mind's racing about what the potential options are if this in fact uh, doesn't happen so you might be wondering this substance so what did dan Raphael say it was gw1516 not something I'm familiar with, um, but we can do a quick Google search here. So this was uh, something that was uh, made by uh, GlaxoSmithKline and uh, another Lingard Pharmaceuticals apparently. But here you can just see this headline here, exercise and appeal, GW1516 boosts athletic endurance by 70%. So uh, fill your boots with your research on this one and um, in terms of what you want to find out about what this drug does. But just on um, this basis, it doesn't appear to be a performance enhancer. This is not like something like cocaine that he's just had as a recreational basis. Well, allegedly taken. So Jarrell Miller has reportedly failed a drugs test. Uh, a failed result has been found. Um, according to Eddie Hearn, he has confirmed the news and that came after Dan Raphael's um, breaking the story on this one. Obviously, Hearn wanting to uh, get ahead of this to some extent to sort of say, you can hear, uh, see here, that the fight will still go ahead or a fight involving Joshua is still going ahead on June 1st at Madison Square Garden. Because one of the questions I initially had was, what happens now if Miller is out of the mix, if he is indeed found to have been doping ahead of this fight? Is Joshua going to be on the shelf and there's no fight? Obviously, a huge amount of time and money has been invested in this date. It's uh, Joshua's uh, US debut. And this sort of thing, it actually doesn't really help because Miller was effectively the fourth option that Joshua had to choose from. He had to work down from the list of, you know, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Dillian White turned the fight down, didn't like the deal. So Miller was Johnny on the spot to pick it up. So you have to ask yourself, well, what happens next if Miller is not involved here but this is going to be quite a fluid and fast-paced moving story so no doubt um, some of the developments will keep overtaking um, some of the earlier information some of it in this video will be out of date very quickly I'm sure we're going to have a full update within the next 24 hours on the what next because clearly this is um, quite a dramatic situation ahead of Joshua's US debut and Miller has allegedly failed a drugs test there's been an adverse finding in Miller sample collected on March 20 and as Dan Raphael points out a urine sample um, that allegedly contained at GW 1516 and our little Google search here says 
um, that this is a, an athletic endurance booster can boost your endurance by about 70 percent and I know many people will be quick to point out that Jarrell Miller has had from what they regard as an unnatural sort of engine for a guy who's been increasing in weight and of his size and certainly it always has raised the eyebrow how can he keep going round after round at that size so got to hold some judgment until all the findings are in but it's not looking good for Miller but the what next for Anthony Joshua it's up in the air but apparently he will be fighting what do you make of it all drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared I'm out.